I am wearing it sideways. <laughs> Let's just forget that ever happened. Hi, I'm Diana, and this is part two of three of a series of why elegance is overrated and how to dress like your most creative, fun, and funky self. We are going to go over five more style principles that you can apply to your own closet to create outfits you never thought about before. If you haven't seen part one of this series, I will link it above and below in the description. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. The first style principle is pick out two things that don't seem to match. That's only the first part of the first principle. So in this case, I've picked out this beautiful blue blouse with warm orange florals. I love the sleeves. They're bell shaped and I love the high neck. I think it's really pretty. And I've paired it with this other thing that I think is very pretty, but I don't think matches in the least. <laughs> And I think that I still would wear these two together, but let me show you how someone who's a little less wild might tie two things together that don't match. I love this vintage skirt. I love the flowers on it. I have flowers up here. The color profiles don't even match, but if you pick a common color to put around it, I wanna show you how that can change things. In this case, I'm going to choose some black items and we're gonna to try to tie it all together. I am choosing a black blazer a black belt, and my black booties. And let's see how this can pull everything together in a way that seems to make sense. So the black items now make everything <laughs> make sense. Now, to be fair, this jacket did cover up the orange flowers. And I think that it still makes sense, even with these orange flowers popping out. It's this floral theme. And there really is no light blue in this skirt. So it it really still doesn't match, but all these black items are really pulling it together. I'm gonna pop my collar here. Every day with short wavy hair is an adventure. You never know where you're going to go. I like this look a lot and I like it with statement earrings. I feel like this is a very fun and funky outfit. So don't be afraid to pull two items that you like out of your closet, no matter what they look like and try to tie them together with black. Oh, tying them together with black was the second half of this style principle. I didn't say that. This is actually a really cute vintage skirt. I think I'm wearing it sideways. I am wearing it sideways. Look, there's the pocket. <laughs> hmm. Let's just forget that ever happened. It doesn't matter. Looking cute still. Got my kangaroo pouch. The next fun thing we're going to do is combine two things that are alike and you would think that it would be too much, but just grab two things that are very similar. So in this case, I picked out this really cute kind of torn up little dress that's denim. And I just wanna show you that by itself, it's really cute. It's a bit of a, a youthful look. And now I'm gonna talk later about age in clothes, which I don't actually believe exists, but, I do believe that this is a cute little dress that has a little too um, much air breezing through right here for my comfort level. So what I'm going to do is pick out a pair of similar colored, but not that similar, colored jeans for underneath and let's just see what happens. So I think this is super cute, look. So we have, I mean, people like to call this a Canadian tuxedo when you've got denim and denim, but this doesn't look the least bit Canadian to me. I'm just gonna call it my denim look, and I think it's really fun. I think I could probably even take this further if I wanna get ridiculous and throw my <laughs> denim shirt over it. I am always for getting ridiculous. So let's, let's go for it. Yeah, I say that if you're gonna go for an all denim look and you're gonna mix denims, just go all the way. Go all the way with putting like items together. Don't worry about them being slightly different. We're not trying to match completely, but I think that this is really fun. Probably more things we could do to make this more interesting. I'm just gonna put on a scarf in the same color family. Okay, tell me this isn't cute, because I know this is cute. So if you tell me this isn't cute, you're wrong, because this is cute. And I think that now this frayed thing that was my problem. It's now like a bonus item. I really like the way it looks down here. It adds visual interest and makes this outfit even more interesting. I love this look. I would wear this any day. 
so that's that. Don't be afraid to wear everything in your closet that is similar. Okay, the third style principle is that you shouldn't be afraid that certain clothes will age you. I'm talking about animal prints and clothes that people think are old lady. It's all about how you style them. It's not the clothes that age you, it's frump that ages you. So if you're looking older in an outfit, it could be that it's cutting you off in the wrong areas or you're not tucked in or you're not belted or they're just the wrong lengths. It's frump that ages you. Now I'm wearing two different items that people say age you, which is a leopard print and one of these burnt out velvet, ooh, tassely things, cover-ups that people always think is too old lady, but man, I love the burnt out velvet. I love it. I can never get enough of it. So in this style that I'm wearing, um, I have to make sure things are the right length. Like I think that this is, this is a good length for me for this dress. Now, if it was an awkward place like here. Okay, so where my calves are their most wide and my flat shoes are making my legs <laughs> look like stumps, but just a little bit longer, it's much more flattering. So you just kind of want to watch your lengths of things. Now, the where this is stopping down here is not great for me, but I also don't mind it. I really just feel very comfortable in this. But if you're feeling a little frumpy with that extra length, you always could tie things to rein them in. <laughs> so that definitely helps with frump. And I don't think that this is an old lady outfit, you know? I think that the the leopard print and the burnt out velvet separately are considered to be older lady stuff. But who cares? Whatever age you are, just enjoy the fun things. I don't like to term anything old lady because that makes it sound like something you don't want to be. And I have met some really fabulous older ladies and I don't think it's old lady that you don't want to be. I think it's frumpy that you don't want to be. Let's try another animal print. Here we are with another animal print and it's my, what is this? Tiger. This is my tiger print fuzzy skirt. Every single time I try to say what it is, I forget that it's a tiger. It's a tiger print skirt and it's fuzzy. And I think maybe the key of maybe trying to freshen up the animal prints is just choose an edgier item with it. Right now I have this sheer t-shirt. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try, but it's a little bit of an edgier item and I think it's going to be cool. I guess we're going to find out. So let's talk a little bit about frump here and how these shoes are frumping up this outfit. I think that I do like this shirt out like this. I was just going to talk about how shirts hitting you here can be a little frumpy. And if I wanted this to be, I don't know, more flattering. I don't like the word flattering uh, because I think that fun is more important than flattering. But if you wanted to be more flattering, you would tuck this in here and maybe add a belt. I don't care about flattering. <laughs> I like the way it looks like this. I like that I can see the line of my skirt. I'm just going to change my shoes and I think that will help the frump factor. Yeah, in fact, with these shoes on, I really like the extra length of this because then it's not about, ooh, sexy curves. It's more about this long line, this cool print, and this cool cut. I think that this is actually a pretty young look, if we're gonna be calling things young and old. How about we call them fresh and frumpy? <laughs> Okay, it's not young and old. It's either fresh or frumpy. So I think that really freshened this outfit up is all I'm saying. I do like this being out because then I don't have to worry about how my midsection looks. And I really, you guys know how much I love not thinking about my body. This feels awesome. Okay, next style principle is pick something out of your closet that makes you feel a little bare. Something that's a little too bare that you don't feel like wearing because you always feel half naked or too exposed or it's the wrong season or maybe the wrong season of your life. So take that item out and we're going to pile things on top of it. And for me, it's this purple strapless jumpsuit, which is actually quite pretty. It has pockets and it makes me feel half naked, but let's put something on top of it. So I'm putting on this burnt out velvet cover up thing over it again. And this is a really pretty nighttime look. 
and I don't have to feel half naked. And I feel like this is all beautiful. Let's try one more thing over it. Well, this is a lot and this isn't working for me, but I thought that I would include it in this video <laughs> because somebody's going to like it. And um, it's not me, but maybe it's you. Is it you, pink and purple lady? This is for you. Well, look how standard I'm being right now. I've just got a nice calf length floral skirt on, a nude tank top and a brown belt. Because the next style principle, it actually has to do with putting something on your head. Let's see what we can put on our heads, whether that's a scarf or a headband or a hat. I don't generally like to add a hat to an outfit because I like to style my outfits for indoors and I don't wanna wear a hat indoors. So we're gonna do scarves and headbands here for a second. Okay, the first one's gonna be this pink look. This is an absolutely plain pink scarf that I think has a nice stretch to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it into a triangle and take that top point and just roll it down a bit. And now I'm going to take this big flat part, put it behind my head, get my hair to kind of go back. And I'm gonna twist it right here. And then I'm gonna tie it back behind. And then of course I'm gonna have to arrange this mushroom of a hairstyle right now, hold on. <laughs> this pink is very bright and not exactly my color, but I think it's fun. And there goes the earring that keeps trying to escape. And I really like this look for summertime or when it's a little bit warm and I wanna get my hair out of my face and I wanna keep it simple and I wanna just keep everything, everything simple because I'm doing something. I'm working or I'm just making a quick errand. This adds a lot of cuteness and it actually adds a fashion statement because not a lot of people do this. And it's really cute. This time we're going to do a scarf that is long and rectangular. So I'm gonna start with this one behind. We're gonna create more of like a turban. I'm gonna take it in front, I'm gonna twist it around. I'm gonna let it be kind of wide when I bring it back. And I'm gonna give it a little tie. And then I'm gonna tuck that knot underneath. And sometimes when I do scarves as looks, <laughs> what else would they be? Whenever I do a head scarf as a look, sometimes I like to bring a little strands of hair down in the front, or I just like my hairline showing a bit. And I think this makes for a really cute look. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna make this a fashion statement by bringing that pink Barbie jacket back out. Now this is a look. This is really pretty and really fun. And I think it, it does say something. I think I'd switch out this belt for a black one, but I love it. Look how fast this outfit went from standard and boring to fashion statement. And I think the hair scarf really does that. I think that, you know, if you're feeling good about your eyebrows or your red lips or your nice eye makeup or your statement earrings, Pulling your hair back in a scarf is a nice statement, and it's not as crazy as you would think. Now we're gonna try some headbands. Even in short hair, headbands are super cute. And when I do a headband, I like my hair to be a little, little spikier back here. I really have to take off the Barbie jacket now because it's not cool in here. And I just love how this sweet little leopard print headband adds so much to my boring outfit. This feels really cute. Let's try a different color real quick. Yes, very fun little statement. I love it. So that's it for episode two. And if you missed episode one of this series, that's going to be right here. And if you'd like to see episode three, that's going to eventually appear right here. I'll see you soon. Oh.